everybody today i'm going to introduce to you is if you are in fmb and retail industry how can you use abss mob to generate your fs report which means your financial report and how to enter in your daily transaction most of y'all will have a front end system okay which means it's your point of sales and your point of sales every day will generate the exact report to you, which is a lump sum fee gold. I mean, with, like for example, cash, how much, next, how much, master, how much. What you need to do is just key in this thing into the system. Okay. First of all, for normal B2B, okay, we will create customer as a company name. But for you, you're not really got a company. Your customer basically is your branch. Okay. Which means your outlet. So, card file, card list. You got two ways to create. Actually, you can break down by branch plus payment method. For example, branch A dash uh cash, branch A dash master, branch A dash grab pay, all these things. You also can just call it branch A. And the difference is this is when you're entering is uh your breakdown transaction by transaction by payment method. And for this it's just a lump sum. Uh it's about the same, just depend do you want to track a payment method, total sales or not. That's the only difference. So once you end okay, let me just show you a quick one. Enter the customer name called branch A. Or if you don't have multiple branch, you can just key in uh Juro or whatever it is you want to call it. Uh. Okay, so after that go to selling details, your sales day out will be service and key in your income account. Go to which income account. Let's say if you call it sales, just select back sales. And this is a GSD. This customer tax code is a must to tick, lah. Okay, as you show. If you got GSD, tick SR. If you don't have GSD, NT. And your payment method definitely is COD. Okay. So after you created your customer, go to sales, enter sales. Simply just maybe I just said branch A. Okay, you can just create a sales. If not, you can do it blank also can. Tap button, tap button, key in today, total lump sum, maybe today I receive 2000 If you don't break down by the payment methods, right, you just key a lump sum. Like today, total sale is 2000 you just key 2000 For this job, project costing, all these things, if you want to check, just go ahead. If not, leave it. You all don't have invoice number, just that it run will do. And then after that, record. Okay? And then, you will need to go to receive payment. And here, actually, we go two method you can have two different kind of method now we proceed with method one okay it's a method one so this is for those people who okay uh not that um got a lot of accounting basics uh it's more in a way that more long cut not shortcut you know it's a long cut but it's a very step by step it's a very proper procedure okay so you will need to create a contract account because you know why when you for example 2000 will you immediately go to bank no that's it inside is 2000 cash you put in your uh, cash box or in your hand after two three days you accumulate together then you go to the bank same thing for mastercard or grab pay it won't immediately go into your bank account it will hold until two three days then just go to your bank account so we will need to create a contract account and this contract accounts right is under the bank so how to create a contract account simply go to account account list under bank just create new Remember the account type must be bank and then create contra cash, contra master, contra next. If you got grab pay, just create contra grab pay, uh, contra faith, whatever it is. Depend on your payment method. Okay, this is a fixed step. So first thing is the customer. Second thing, normal and the transaction. Third thing, you remember create a contra for one time only. And after that, your daily thing will be every day after enter the sales transaction you will need to go to your receive payment and then select which contract account like contract cash branch a okay i'm not receive 2140 because 1000 is my cash okay the balance is my master contract master branch a 
on 1.0 okay the multiply so everything go to contra account first so every day your daily job is as simple as that go to enter sales go to enter sales and then mm, one second where's my branch a okay go to enter sales enter the sales select which chart of account actually by right this one you prefix already just key in the amount okay and after that receive payment go to which contra account if it's cash go to cash master go to master this is easy for you to do bank reconciliation as well okay and this is a proper way so after that right you go to contra account already two to three days later either mastercard will pay to go transfer to your bank or you will do you will take your cash go to bank to do cash deposit so first step okay first enter sales normal transaction after that receive to contract first step go to banking spend money from contra account for example my contra cash go to where go to my normal bank account okay i got the bank account called check account that's it 1000 i just key in 1000 1000 okay record and i got contra master remember but my control master also 1140 the amount first thing okay. so contra master same thing i go to my bank account okay That's my bank account okay check account and then did i receive 1140 no I only received one zero zero one thousand. Another hundred fifty dollars, a hundred forty dollars is my bank charges. Remember, you got commission fees, handling fees, all these thing. Mastercard will charge you. So eventually, just click record done. So let me show you the double entry. Okay. First thing. I credit my contra account, I debit my bank account, right? What? Which means I transfer over from my deposit, cash deposit box on me on my hand, I put into the bank. The other way around is the other one, contra master. Okay, which means initial is 1140. Mastercard by right I risk I, I charge, I mean all my customer pay me total accumulate together is 1140. But in fact, when I receive in my bank, right, Mastercard won't give me one one four zero. They will deduct the bank charges, so called commercial fees and handling fees. So eventually, only one thousand I will receive, and the balance one four zero will be my bank charges. See, everything will be clear, and this will be a proper step for a retail, and three step basically always is three step. Enter sales, receive payment. Spend money, the spend money is transfer over from your contract to your bank. Okay, thank you.